Hi everybody, today we're gonna to talk about my favorite unsung hero of the supplement world. We're gonna talk about calcium. Yes, good old calcium. You think you know about calcium, but do you really know, know about calcium? Well, we're gonna find out today. I think I'm gonna blow your mind <laughs> with calcium information. So um, first of all, let me start by saying that calcium does so much in your body. It is the most available mineral in your body. It's everywhere, right? And you know that because you think about the bones, you know you're, you've got lots of calcium. You think of calcium and bones, and a lot of people do, but do you think about calcium and how important it is for your soft tissue, for healing muscles, for healing infections, for immune system health? Are you aware of those things? Are you aware that it's a great relaxer? Are you aware that, that for example, calcium can help if you have herpes to counteract that virus or canker sores? Most people don't understand the connection, and that's what we're going to cover today. So just very quickly, I first want to let you know that I'm talking about standard process calcium lactate. And you need to know that there's a huge difference between calcium lactate and what most likely is what's at the drugstore, calcium carbonate. Now, first of all, your body uses calcium, right? Like I just went through the big list of all the things, and we're going to get into that a little deeper. It needs and uses calcium. The type of calcium that your body likes to use is called calcium bicarbonate. Calcium bicarbonate is not the same as calcium carbonate. Now, what calcium carbonate is, is the stuff that you see in your tea kettle if you boil uh, spring water too much and you get that residue, that white residue in the tea kettle that you have to kind of scrape off, right? Essentially, what calcium carbonate is, is limestone. And it's not very bioavailable in our bodies. In fact, it takes many, many, many steps for your body to take calcium carbonate and make it into something that it can use. Calcium lactate is different, right? Calcium lactate only requires one step to go from calcium lactate to the bioavailable usable form of calcium, calcium bicarbonate. Now people say, well, well, why won't I just get calcium bicarbonate? Exactly. Why? Because if you take, if you make calcium bicarbonate, as you're drying out that product to put it into a, uh, you know, to put it into capsules or tablets, I should say, the calcium bicarbonate converts to calcium carbonate. So you end up with limestone no matter what. That's why we use calcium lactate, people, because we can take the calcium lactate and convert it right into calcium bicarbonate in one simple step. So it's very usable for your body. Now, this calcium lactate by standard process is unique for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, in these um, tablets, you have a 5 to 1 ratio of calcium lactate to magnesium citrate. And that's important because the magnesium citrate creates an acidic environment, which again helps the calcium lactate be more bioavailable to our system, helps us use it. And that's what's important. Most people who take calcium carbonate, the limestone pills, you just, well, you just poop it out, to be honest with you. I remember when I was at college and I was studying radiology, um, we used to look at x-rays of senior citizens and they had these big white circles all in their digestive system. And the instructor said, what is that, right? We looked at it, we couldn't figure it out. This was calcium pills that they were taking that were not breaking down in their body and were just passing through their digestive system. So we definitely want something that's bioavailable. Now, what is the key with calcium lactate? What can we use this for in our system? Well, first and foremost, you need to know a little bit about how the body works. So your body will take calcium from the gut, pull it out of the gut, and put it into the bloodstream using vitamin D. That's a connection there. So your body uses the vitamin D, it pulls the calcium out of the gut, puts it into the bloodstream. Now you've got calcium in the bloodstream where we can do all sorts of things with that, right? We can use that as a physiological relaxer. We can use that uh, for the immune system where that will go through the blood and the calcium will actually look for 
potential invaders or nasties. And when it finds those potential nasties, the calcium will tag those nasties, tag that bacteria, tag that virus. And that tag that's given by the calcium, that is going to be like a beacon, right? a signaling beacon for your immune system to go in and attack whatever that attaches to. So it really helps if you're feeling like you're going to get a cold or if you're feeling a little down or if you've got an infection, you take calcium lactate. It's going to go in the blood and it's going to go through the blood, through your whole system, systemically, right? Find the bad invaders, tag them, and then your immune system is going to go in, look for those tags, attack those specific intruders and help resolve your infection. I mean, it's really incredible, right? Something else that happens with calcium is that then it can be transferred from the blood into the soft tissues. And as it go, and to get into the soft tissues from the blood, we use essential fatty acids. And I talked about this many times. The essential fatty acids push it into the tissue. And when it's in the tissue, it can help relax muscles, right? Um, it can help repair tissues. So if you've got a cut or something like that, you want to repair take a couple of calcium lactates, make sure you're taking essential fatty acids along with it. I spoke about this in my video about cod liver oil, for example, and that will push the calcium into the soft tissues where your body can use it for regeneration and healing. It's really amazing, right? Um, to take it a step farther, if you're somebody who has canker sores, if you get canker sores in your mouth and you want a, a, a hack to help with those, as soon as you start feeling a canker sore, take a couple of these, pack these calcium lactate uh, tablets around the sore and just suck on these tablets and let it dissolve. And um, that will almost immediately resolve your canker sores. Now, again, you have to make sure that you're getting an adequate amount of essential fatty acids to push that calcium into the soft tissue. You've got to make sure that you've got enough vitamin D. All those other things have to be in place. But the end stage is the calcium. And the calcium lactate will push itself into the soft tissues of the mouth, resolve those canker sores like within 20 minutes. It's a miracle to see that happen. Also, if you have uh, herpes, if you're someone that suffers from the herpes virus and you get cold sores, I mean, you definitely want to take, as soon as you start to feel the cold sore, you want to take some calcium lactate and you want to make sure you have that balance of fat, essential fatty acids and vitamin D. This will also help to target that virus, like I mentioned, and your own immune system will do its job and will get that herpes virus back into a dormant state. So I hope this was um, something that was useful to you. I use calcium lactate all the time. It's in my, quote, medicine cabinet or my herb cabinet, my whole foods cabinet, and I use it for all sorts of different things that pop up in my life. And again, it's calcium lactate. This is not something that's going to cause major side effects with you. It's not expensive at all. Please check it out. And if you'd like to purchase some calcium lactate or learn more about it, you, there's a link on my website where you can buy the products directly from Standard Process with no middle person. You get any discounts that are available. They ship it right to your door and help support this channel. So check out my website, drstephenstokes.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and um, we'll talk again soon. Thank you very much.